Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is actually download Vortex. So you're going to go ahead and click this button right here, download the latest version, and follow through the installer. Um, while that's going on, you can also register for a Nexus account right here. You'll need that to link to Vortex so you can download mods on the website and they'll sync to your mod manager. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and log into my account. And then once Vortex has finished installing, you're going to go ahead and open it up. You'll be met with a screen similar to this one. Uh, you won't have Stardew Valley. But what we're going to do now is click on this little red guy right here. It should open up a browser tab asking you to authenticate your account. You'll authorize it and then boom, we're back in Vortex. And now you can see we are logged in. So now to actually get Stardew Valley uh, set up inside of Vortex, we're going to click on this little controller icon here. That's our games tab. And then up at the top here, we're just going to search for Stardew Valley. Of course, I already have it managed, but you'll see it down here in unmanaged, and all you have to do is hover over it and click the manage button. Uh, and there might be one or two little pop-up steps to like configure it, but I don't actually think there are any. Um, so after that, really the only two things that we'll be focusing on in Vortex is the mods tab, and if you want to check your downloads as they're going, this downloads tab. Uh, but the mod tab is really where we're going to spend the majority of our time. So I'm going to walk you through installing a simple mod today. So I have here uh, visible fish. I love this mod. It just adds the fish to the water. Um, so on a Nexus mod page and you can find mods easily on vortex. There's a get more mods button down here. If you click that, it'll just open up the Stardew Nexus and uh, you can see the mods. So for visible fish, um, you land on this description tab and it tells you about it. And normally they'll have install instructions. Um, but if it's a simple, easy mod like this, it doesn't have install instructions. And for most mods, you should just be able to go to files, hit mod manager download. And then, uh, yeah, you can see right here now, downloading from Nexus. And then boom, here it is. Now to install it, all you have to do is click on where it says never installed. It'll run through it. Okay, now the mod is installed, but it's disabled. Uh, so now we'll click on it again to enable it. And really all you're doing here is staging your mods. So you're not actually installing them yet. So you'll set up everything the way you want it to, right? Like you see, I have a lot of mods disabled because they're not updated to 1.6 yet. But once you're ready to actually install all those mods into your game, uh, you can click on deploy mods here or uh, deployment requires elevation, right? So I have it set that it needs administrator access on my computer to actually do the deployment. So I'll click elevate, hit yes on that um, user access control dialog, and that's done. Now I have um, visible fish. Obviously I would recommend starting with Smappy because that's necessary to do. Just wanted to jump in real quick. Uh, I never really explained how to install Smappy in this video and it is a more in-depth process than any of the other mods that you'll install for stardew so this is kind of like a boss fight in the beginning of modding um, but here's the, the page on nexus for smappy and i'll link it in the description they have a section on installing and it's actually on the stardew wiki so if you click this button it brings you to uh, the getting started guide for installing smappy so you'll click on your platform here we're on windows obviously and it's a pretty meticulously laid out way to install Smappy. Um, if you have any problems with it, let me know and I'll try and help. So once you're done, you're gonna hit play and you'll see this command prompt open. This is just Smappy's kind of like helper, I guess you could call it. Um, and this is my first thing that I look at whenever I'm trying to like diagnose why mods aren't working. So the game opened, that's great. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and look at this a little closer. So uh, you see it's loaded 13 mods and it'll tell you, you know, what all your mods are. And so you can see here, Visible Fish is indeed installed. Um, and then it'll tell you, oh, here's some warnings. These affect game code and so they might be the reason things have broken. Uh, but if you don't see your mod in here anywhere, then it's not installed correctly and you'll need to go back to the 
uh, mod page and figure out like, what broke exactly. Uh, so some advanced vortex tips, because sometimes vortex does like to throw weird errors. Uh, all your errors will be here and it, they're pretty easy to fix. Like they'll be under the notifications tab. If you need to alter anything like a staging path or the deployment method, that's all going to be the cog wheel on the left hand side here and then uh, mod staging folder and deployment method. And you can hit the suggest button and it'll try and suggest uh, what it thinks is a good place for your mods to be staged. And then downloads, same thing. So yeah, that's pretty much a general understanding. If you ever want to uninstall a mod, it's as easy as clicking enabled. It'll now be disabled. You'll need to deploy it again. Um, because remember everything that you do in here before you deploy is just kind of staging changes. So once you stage all the changes you want to make, you deploy it, then all those changes become active. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Okay, thanks. Bye.